Hey friends, this is Quest and Current and today I have this really interesting cable and it's not really interesting because the color of the cable is Cuba Flamingo but it's interesting because the cable itself is made in Germany and it's made by a company called ReCable and they're supposedly making sustainable or renewable cables where they make everything in Germany, where everything is recyclable and where everything can be made into a new cable. This is generally something I, I really like and I really support. So I even kept the packaging so you can see that they didn't use any kind of plastics at all. Um, besides this little strip they, they used in case the packaging gets wet. But this also has the downside um, that this cable, and it's 1.5 meters long, costs, including shipping, let me take a look, 42 euros and 80 cents. So I, I wrote it on the back side because I was, was sure that I'm going to forget. So that's a lot for uh, USB-C to USB-C cable, especially for 1.5 meter. But um, on the plus side, uh, for this price, you can actually choose besides the color of the cable itself, also the color of the connectors. So I cho chose a red and, and a white one. And the cable itself is supposed to be, let me take a look, a uh, USB-C cable, yes, and a USB 2.0 cable uh, with fast charging or quick charging functionality. And considering they didn't put any specifics uh, in terms of the voltage or charging current. I'm quite sure that it's just a regular USB-C cable with the nominal 60 watts comprising of 20 volts at 3 amps charging current. So what they're doing is most certainly not even including an eMark IC that, that can handle uh, higher voltages or higher currents and can negotiate between your phone and the charger. What they also say is uh, up to 90% recyclable and sustainable materials and due to some reason vegan so the cable itself is vegan just in case you were trying to eat it or something I'm, I'm i'm not sure how that works but what you were actually interested in is how the cable behaves and what kind of cable uh it is because that's what what they actually don't tell you and if we take a look at the cable itself uh the braiding besides being cuba flamingo is not too shabby. It, it feels really rigid, so you can even see that the cable is not going to unravel itself uh, on its own. But it feels surprisingly thin, so uh, probably that's just due to the fact that it's only a USB 2 cable, so they, they don't need a lot of pins connected and they don't need, need a lot of wires inside this cable. But let's take a look, so you don't have to take my word for it and just just do so i have proof um let's take a look it's going to measure and if it's going to take a while yes then it's just trying to sample the e-marker which it's not going to to get a reply of because like we just saw it's just a regular usb2 cable um because of the 0 0.48 gigabits of 180 megabits per second data speed and it has a nominal charging power of 10 watts so that's at 5 volts and it should be 15 watts, so 5 volts at 3 amps are 15 watts, but due to the fact that the cable health is not at 100%, um, it got downgraded to 10 watts if um, we want to use it at, at 20 volts, it, it would be a nominal rating of 40 watts because that's 2 amps current. What we can also see uh, besides that the cable, yes, doesn't feature an e-marker, so 5 volts, what do we see? Nominally up to 20 due to the USB standard uh, implying that, and nominally up to 3 amps, but we are now limited to 2 amps. This is up to the devices actually negotiating, or not negotiating because um, they cannot negotiate with the cable, but actually drawing current. Um, the limitation in this current is caused by the assumed voltage drop at this current through the cable. So the device charging from it is going to see a lower voltage and will regulate its, its charging current according to that. If we take a look at the connector, it's, it's exactly what we were uh, expected to see. The four outer pins are the ground, these four pins are the Webus, supply voltage pins, and these three on the top are D plus, D minus for USB 2 speeds, 
as well as the CC1 or CC2 pin for the configuration of um, what end of discharging cable is the upstream and what's the downstream facing port. So if your phone is connected to your laptop, it's going to charge from your laptop. But if your laptop is connected to your TV, for example, your laptop is going to charge from the TV. So they have to have a way to negotiate in which direction the power is going to flow, which they are going to do with the CC pins, CC1 and CC2, but CC2 is not connected um, as it's not needed for this kind of cable. What we can see here, uh, the pins connected are CC1, so if we flip uh, the connector around like this, it's going to be CC2, and also the D plus and D minus is going to flip for backwards compatibility. We can also see the reason for the cable not being at a full 100% cable health. The rebus resistance is a 182 milliohms, which is quite a lot. Um, we have seen cables being at 20 milliohms, we've seen cables being at 50, 70, 90 milliohms, but 182 milliohms definitely is too much, in my opinion, if we want to fast charge uh, a single device like the phone I'm recording this right now, I would not use this cable. And the e-marker info say, yeah, there is no e-marker inside. So this is consistent with, with everything we saw earlier. And one thing I noticed while, while unpacking this, because I, I already took a quick look, is that the cable itself, the, the white and the red sleeving or um, connector shelf, are actually just some, some heat shrink tubes. If you take a look at the top here, you, you can still see the end of the connector here. And also maybe here, yeah, we can see it a bit here. So what they did is you can pay for whatever color you want to have, but they just used a bit of heat shrink to put on top. And on this side of the, the connector of the cable, they also stamped their logo in, so it says ReCable there. And you can also buy it in their um, business to business shop with whatever kind of logo you want to have there. But in all honesty, I, I wouldn't like to pay for um, a business branded cable from, from their company, not because I don't support their sustainability approach or their made in Germany kind of thing, which is everything and all about this is really great. but. Then in the end, it's almost 43 euros for a below average cable that I wouldn't even use to, to quick charge my phone or transmit data in any way, because that's definitely not what it's supposed to be used at. So the cable itself is really nice to look at and the color is, is great, but that's probably about it. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below. If you want to know how much feet one and a half meters are, I would recommend googling that and thanks for supporting thanks for subscribing and especially thanks for the youtube premium subscribers because that helps out a lot and that helps me buy stuff like this so thanks and see you next week